This is Nick with logosbynick.com and in today's tutorial I'll be demonstrating how you can create text written into a foggy window using GIMP. And this was originally a Photoshop tutorial that I saw on YouTube. I'll have that linked in the description of the video and I thought it would be pretty cool to show you how this could be created in GIMP as well. So uh, throughout this tutorial both images I'll be using will be linked in the description of the video and I'll, I'll even be linking this font file that I'll be using as well. This is called Milkshake, this font. Uh, otherwise any cursive style font should work just fine. So the first thing we want to do is uh, open up our image of water drops on a gray background. So I'm just going to right click that and open it with GIMP. And there's that. What we want to do now is change the size of this image because it's a little too big. We'll go to image, scale image, and the width of this, as you'll see, is 5616, which is a little, we don't need it to be that big. We can just change it to 1920. Go ahead and click on the next box and it should automatically adjust the height to 1280. If not, you might not have this lock icon set. So go ahead and set that lock icon and try it again. Or you could just manually write in 1280 like that. Go ahead and click scale. And I'm just going to zoom in a little bit by holding control and rolling up on the mouse wheel a few times. Like that, that's pretty good. And then we'll open up our image of Cologne here. And for the image, anything with like a night, like a night sky usually works. It doesn't really work that well with like a blue sky because it's supposed to be raining. You could try like a darker cloudy sky, but a night sky usually gives you more contrast, which works a lot better uh, for what we're gonna do. So what we have now is we have this image of this city here and it's a really, really clear image. What we wanna do is blur this because this is gonna be the background. The water drops on the window are going to be the subject. They're gonna be in focus. So the background has to be out of focus. And to do that, we're gonna add a blur. So we'll go to filters, blur, Gaussian blur and uh, for this one we're just going to use a 45 point blur like that go ahead and click OK that should make that nice and out of focus like that and then we'll change the mode from up here from this drop down we'll change that to uh, overlay and then it, can sh it should sort of look like this drops image is a window a foggy window looking out onto that city uh, that, that, that night city like that and what we'll do now is add our text. So we'll come over to the text tool. And for my presets, I already have the font set. It's called Milkshake. You can go ahead and find that font or use a similar cursive font or any font you want, really. Uh, it, just, it just looks more realistic with the cursive font. It looks like it's handwritten. The size, pretty big. Like We're going to want like a 400 pixel size here. Um, black color. The spacing about negative 10 for this particular font anyway. If you're using a different font, don't worry about this. Uh, the spacing between the letters. Then go ahead and click the, uh, the cursor onto the canvas over here and just type in your text. For this one, I'm just going to use GIMP like that. Then I'll grab the Move tool. And I'll move this towards the center of the page. And I'm just going to rotate this around a little bit to give it a bit of a slant. Uh, just to make it look a little more realistic. I mean, if you were going to write this into a foggy window with your finger, chances are you wouldn't have it perfectly oriented on the horizontal axis like that. So I like to give it a little bit of a, uh, a little bit of a slant. So we'll go to the rotate tool and just click and drag that around a little bit like that. Go and click rot uh, rotate. And uh, what I'll do now is I'll change the mode of that to grain merge. And it's going to make it look like it's written into the foggy window with like a finger or something. And I want to actually bring the opacity of this down a little bit, maybe to like 85, just to make it look a little more realistic. It's a little too harsh, a little too dark uh, when it's brought up to 100%, but at, uh, at 85, I think it looks pretty believable. I'm just going to grab the move tool and move this up a little bit. And the final step would be to add some drips going down it. Like you see here in the thumbnail, I added some drips going down some of the letters. To do that, uh, with the layer selected, the uh, text layer, we'll just go to Filters, Distorts, I Warp. And I'm going to take this window and I'm going to make this a lot bigger so I get a bigger preview of the text here. And I just want to take the cursor and click and drag down like that on the edge just to create some water drips. Like that. Put another smaller one right here. I'll put another one down here. If you want, you could really take your time and really craft these and make them look nice, make them look longer and everything like actual water. I'm just kind of um, going through this pretty quickly for a, uh, for the sake of the tutorial. Put another one down here, another one down here, another one down here. I'll make this one longer maybe. Like 
Maybe another little one up here. Put one right there. And that's, you should pretty much get the idea. It makes it look like it's dripping down like water, like a condensation from the window accumulating and forming drops that roll down the glass. So uh, once we've done that, we can go ahead and click OK. And there we have that. Maybe uh, make those drops like a little longer like I did in my thumbnail over here. But uh, just to give you a general idea of how that could be done, you could even adjust the opacity a bit according to your liking. I think that looks pretty good right there, maybe 89. So that's how you can do that with GIMP. So if you have any questions, let me know. And as always, thanks for watching.